Do versus make, correcting a common mistake. A common mistake I hear students say is, I made my homework. When the correct way to say this is, I did my homework. Or they say, I made my exercises. When they mean, I did my exercises. This video will teach you the differences between these important verbs. The main difference is that with do, you perform some type of work, there is a result, but you don't produce or create a thing or product. You don't create anything new. With make, you do work that creates a thing or a product. You create something new. Let's look at some examples to understand this better. You clean your house. It was a lot of work and your house is clean, but you didn't create something new. So we say you did house cleaning. Compare that to this woman who is knitting a sweater. This is also work, but when she is done, she has created something new. She made a sweater. Let's look at some other examples. This boy is working on his homework. He is completing a worksheet. He is learning, but like house cleaning, he isn't creating anything new. So we say he is doing his homework. These people assemble cars in a factory. When they are done, there are new cars. They make cars. Now you understand why we do exercises. There is work, but nothing new is created. Let's look at do to perform an action or activity. So this would include work assignments, tasks we often do, such as homework for school, cleaning the house, exercise. It's important to note with do, we are performing some type of work and there is some result but we are not producing or creating a thing. Some examples of work, jobs, or tasks would be Peter is doing the assignments his boss gave him. The carpenter did a lot of work on that house. He did his homework last night. She does the housework on Saturday. Maria did her exercises this morning. We often use do to replace another verb. For instance, instead of saying, I'll wash the dishes later, we say, I'll do the dishes later. Instead of saying, she shopped for food, we say, she did the food shopping. Instead of saying, they cleaned the house, we say, they did the house cleaning. Instead of, I washed and styled my hair, we say, I did my hair. It's important to note this exception. In English, we make the bed. We don't do the bed, we make the bed. Now let's look at make as to create or produce a thing. So for example, my wife made me a scarf for Christmas, meaning she knitted it. He is making a garden bench in his wood shop. So we're talking about making something from wood, doing woodworking. Ford's River Rouge factory makes the F-150 pickup truck. It's a factory, they make pickup trucks there. The pottery class is making flower vases. Okay, so it's a class where they're making things. Make is also often used when you prepare food and drink, such as I made a cup of coffee before leaving for work. His father made dinner last night. My mother is making chocolate chip cookies. I will make a cake for your birthday. There are many other ways to use make. They don't always make sense. The best way to learn about these is through listening to native English speakers and practice. You can click the link in the description for a free PDF. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.